What's up, guys? We're back in another Swords and Sandals video. Uh, so last time we tried out our old school bard. It was pretty darn cool to check him out again, that's for sure. I definitely missed playing him. Uh, but now it's time to check out one of our mixed builds. I'm thinking either not the Karen, bard tank, maybe bard or mage. Yeah, I'm thinking not the Karen and then bard or mage. Let's check both of them out to kind of see what's happened. Now, first, I got to look at not the Karen stats to see if she's even usable. Okay, so we have strength, vitality, attack, defense, and a little bit of stamina. She seems like she's kind of a perfect little mix build for everything that she needs. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh. Well, if I'm denied entry, how do I? <laughs> right, but, uh. <laughs> but what are we doing here? <laughs> Let's see if this crashes the game again. Alright, cool. Well. <laughs> She didn't seem too exciting. She was just like kind of nice little mix of builds. I'm just going to go ahead and check out a different character. Let's see what Barter Mage setup is. Vital stats. Intellect. Charisma. Pretty much nothing else. All right. Well, I guess we go ahead and try it. We just got to have faith, don't we? Better not have some silly rule here. All right. Can't use ranged weapons. At least that says ranged weapons and not ranged attacks. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see how this kind of goes. We got stunned immediately, but when we go into our skills, we have... Oh, that damage seems low. That damage seems incredibly low. Especially with the hit chance. Okay, so the split build not really doing it, but once again, one thing stands true here. So it still seems like Charisma holds strong. That's so confusing, though. Like, you would think these would be very, very strong still. Like, if I were to go for a chill bolt here. And then he's just getting the 18 per turn. It looks like it's only for two turns. Yeah, that's super mid. Yeah, guys. That's super, so they must have made magic way different. There's either some new spells that I'm missing out on or something, but magic feels incredibly weak now compared to where it was, and maybe you have to go for basically magic pure to even be viable in the magic column. That's scary. Maybe an option is defense to make them tankier now. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to like re-roll his stats entirely, because that was not great. Now, there are ways to stop casters. There's ways to stop, um, you know, Sonic users. Obviously, if you get a lightning attack and I can't cast any spells, I'm going to be rather, rather weak. And those are times where you really start to struggle as a character like this and have to start figuring out other options. But, oh, wow. Good for them. Dang, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> All 
All right, so after trying out that build as well, I can see that all those points of intelligence are pretty much a waste other than the essence that I require. So let's go ahead and hop off of this character and see if there's any other characters that I deem viable other... Well, of course, it's going to crash down. Uh, <laughs> other than my OG character. Um, the split builds are highly ineffective at this point, and I think he kind of did that on purpose right before the launch. Try and get everyone to start making new characters again and try out some other builds again. Obviously, you can make multiplayer characters as well, um, so that's kind of a big thing. But let's see. Like, not the mage, I think, was a mage pure. So that's why I want to check him out. Let's see, let's see. Were you a mage peer? Uh, you got a bit of vitality and stamina. <laughs> I guess let's see how this looks. Am I confident? No. No fire magic, no ranged weapons. Awesome. Seventy-five percent chance to hit, but only two thirty on the damage. It just seems so low. Especially when they can just resist it. Cool, we got them electrified. Yeah, electrified only lasts one turn now. Whereas like this frozen lasts three. Maybe it depends like if I were to use like shock two or something, maybe it would do more. So I can regain a bunch of health, but I can't get back a ton of the essence. It's problematic. fine cool back in it i'm gonna take poison each turn now get frozen and uh i don't want you using your skills next turn because i want to rest Just extra rest time when they do that. And then we can hit them with an acid arrow. They keep resisting the acid ones, so that's interesting. Those resists are brutal. Okay, they didn't resist poison that time. And let's hit him with a spiritual hammer. Nice. So very slow, though. That battle took a long time, whereas if I was using Charisma, for example, that probably would have only been a few seconds. Um, okay, let's talk about builds in the game. It's supposed to be rather balanced, but from what I can see currently, if you go for a pure Charisma build, you're going to be much better off. And then if you build that Charisma build into maybe defense or vitality on top of it, I think it's going to be very, very powerful. Uh, the only thing that we can check is the Tanky Bard at this point, because the Tanky Bard will... Of course you crash again. <laughs> it does not want to go back to the start menu. But a tanky bard is the only thing that I could see as potentially more viable than just a straight bard. As long as you're still getting your 90% chance to hit. Actually, anything over 80% I'd take. Okay, bard tank. 
He's only level 20, so he's not very far developed, guys. But let's see. Did we go high defense or high uh, health? Very high defense, mid-tier on the charisma. So let's see how viable this one is. I feel like this one is going to be the best shot at being something good. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. One thing we got to check on our stats here. Currently. Oh, I can't see it until I go up a level. Okay. I was trying to see how... Um, what's it called? Here, let's just hop in here. Uh, I was trying to see what exactly defense protects me from. Is it from all elements almost? Okay, so still 74. Not the greatest. But if I focused on a lot of that now, I could do quite well, I'm sure. And his hit chance can't be great against me. So I resisted whatever that first attack was. Probably should have done the cord sooner. So I'll just rest instead. Hit it with another power cord into taunt into power cord. Even though a taunt power cord taunt could have worked too. Well, a taunt power cord wouldn't work because that final taunt wouldn't have been there. So it feels pretty good. I didn't get like really hit by anything. I think that's about it. We need one more for a level up, so let's make sure we get that out. That 150 HP is definitely a scary one. That's rough. Good freeze. I'm not really getting stuns off. Good defense there. There we go. We needed a stun. Big. That hurt. Probably could have gotten some HP back there. Yeah, let's do that. Just to be safe from all this damage over time. Alright. Oh! Ten turns, that's right. <laughs> that was brutal! Jesus! Alright. Uh <laughs> oh, man, that's actually hilarious. So, damage feels a little bit slow on those. Overall, it's not terrible. Like, I could see this being a very viable build. Let's go ahead and get myself whatever the XP needed for that next level. A 55% chance hit. I don't like. We're leaving. Yeah, no XP for me. That's fine. We're just going to fight the weakest, level up, and then check defense. Good stun. Arm is totally broken. Any additional knockback sends them into the pit as well. And I need that rest in there. Boom. GG. Good battle. All right, let's get my level up and see. So defense is defense versus melee and ranged and magic and sonic. Um, that's actually huge because if you got like tanky enough, then almost nothing is hitting you. And then obviously when you're adding HP to that mix, it could get very, very powerful. But also then there's the convolution of like, am I splitting too much now, etc., etc. Alright, so 19 of my points have been assigned here.
Let's get the crit hit up. Okay. Well, we've looked at a few of the split builds in this video, and we've seen that split builds are nowhere near as viable as what they were before. Also, Mage Pures, they seem rather weak compared to where they used to be in the past. The most viable builds would, in my opinion at this moment, either be potentially a melee build, but if they're running defense heavy, then you're going to struggle as well. Um, and a lot of enemies run with strength, meaning they're going to be able to kind of counter you in the exact same way that you counter them. Uh, the Charisma build, by far the most powerful. We can definitely see that Charisma has totally blown this out the water and shown, oh my gosh, it is a monster. <laughs> uh, so if you're running high Charisma build, you're going to be very, very effective. You saw my Charisma Pure was very, very strong, but obviously adding additional defense, a little bit of stamina to make sure that you can cast all your Charisma-based abilities, but a little bit of defense and a little bit of vitality can go a long way in a Charisma build. So don't forget to actually diversify even slightly just to make yourself more tanky, but it seems like any split build where you're trying to go for two offensive types, say it be Charisma and Intelligence for Magic and Sonic, you're gonna struggle. Um, even if you did like strength and agility to go for melee and range, then you're not making yourself tanky enough. It's it's just not viable to do those split attack builds. You need to focus on one type of attack and then maybe defenses on top of that. And the one type of attack that appears to be most effective at the moment is still Charisma. Charisma was king when the game first launched. It had its drops and magic took over as by far the strongest thing that you could possibly use for months in this game but it seems that magic has finally been nerfed enough to feel weak uh not saying that it needs to be buffed up not saying it needs to be weakened more because there could be really really nice setups that allow magic to be much more viable than the setup that i had we're obviously just tr testing old builds when there's been eight months well seven months of changes since i last played so Guys, take all of this with a grain of salt, but I do still think that the Charisma Sonic builds are by far the strongest in the game, will likely remain the strongest in the game, and if you find the perfect balance of tankiness to Charisma, you could actually crush almost anything in this game. Uh, if this video is helpful to you guys, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of my other content, and I'll see you all in the next video.